Unveiling Mysteries, Conjuring the Dead. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language and culture. Today, we're exploring a rather mysterious and intriguing phrase, Conjuring the Dead. This expression might sound like it's straight out of a fantasy novel or a horror movie, and you're not wrong to think so. Let's embark on this journey together to understand what it means, its origins, and how it's used in English today. Whether you're an English language learner or just someone curious about the language, this video is for you. Conjuring the dead refers to the practice of calling upon spirits of the deceased with the intention of communicating with them. This concept is deeply rooted in various cultural, religious, and mystical traditions around the world. The word conjuring comes from Latin, meaning to swear together, to invoke, but in this context, it's more about invoking or summoning spirits rather than making an oath. The dead, of course, refers to those who have passed away, whose spirits are believed by some to still exist in another form or realm. The practice of conjuring the dead is ancient, dating back to early human civilizations. It has been documented in numerous cultures, including the Egyptians, Greeks, and Romans, and is often associated with rituals, seances, and mediums. These practices were believed to bridge the world of the living and the dead, allowing for communication with departed souls, seeking their guidance, or even asking for their intervention in worldly matters. In modern times, the phrase, conjuring the dead, can be found in literature, movies, and pop culture, often carrying a sense of mystery, fear, or fascination. It's not just about the literal act of summoning spirits but can also metaphorically refer to bringing back past memories, traditions, or ideas that have been long forgotten. In literature, for instance, a writer might be described as conjuring the dead by vividly bringing historical figures or ancient worlds to life through their words. This phrase is a great example of how English can use vivid imagery to convey complex ideas and practices. When learning English, understanding such expressions helps grasp the cultural nuances and the emotional depth of the language. It's not just about the words themselves but the stories, histories, and ideas they encapsulate. Thank you for joining us on this intriguing exploration of Conjuring the Dead. We hope this journey has not only shed light on the meaning and usage of this fascinating phrase but also highlighted the richness of the English language and its ability to connect us with cultures, histories, and ideas far beyond our own. Whether you're here to improve your English or simply to satisfy your curiosity, we're glad you were with us. Remember, language learning is an adventure into the heart of cultures around the world. Keep exploring, keep learning. And until next time, take care.